Hello. Hello, is this Rick Wakeman? Speaking. Hi, this is Julie Devereaux from Boston. How are you? I'm uh, fine, thanks. How are you? I'm well. You know, the, uh, a funny thing happened. My boss came in to me a couple days ago, like Monday, uh-huh. and he says, uh, what do you know about this Yes interview? I said, I already talked to John Anderson a couple weeks ago. Like, what? Do you, uh, it's done. He's like, no, no, the Yes interview. He goes, uh, what are you talking about? Well, John Anderson's going to be back in town with Trevor Rabin and Rick Wakeman. I'm like, what? When is this happening? All right. Because <laughs> I just talked to John a few weeks ago. He was in town with um, Jean Luc Ponty. Oh, John Luc, yeah. Oh, what a fabulous show that was. Uh-huh. And he had mentioned something about you guys getting back together and doing some stuff, but I didn't realize it was so soon. So welcome back. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. So, yeah. uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, this actually has been an ongoing thing for about, oh crikey, four years almost now. John and I did some duo shows together. We did, we did three tours, uh, two two in the UK and one in uh, America, which was great fun. Um, and we talked a lot about um, doing an album with Trevor, a, a very yes-orientated stuff of uh, and a tour, playing yes music and things. And Trevor, in fact, flew to England um, a year and a half ago, and I, I sat with him and spent a lot of time and said, yeah, this, we definitely wanted to do this. Um, but it was a matter of finding the right time, and also because everybody's so busy, it's a matter of locking in a time saying, yes, we are going to do it. And at this time, and Trey's been very busy with his films. John's always out touring. I'm up to my neck in it in, in work. So we, we said that's what we're going to do. And then I think the I think the defining moment almost chose itself in a strange way, which was when our you know, our great dear friend Chris Squire died. Right. Chris died and I think it, it brought home certainly to myself and I think to Trev and John as well, you know, how fragile this life is in many ways, both as you know, as as people and as, and as music as well. And it was a case of, you know what, we've talked about this for four years. You know, saying, yeah, yeah, we'll do it, yeah, do it. None of us know how long we're going to be here for. We'll do it. And at, at a time when we're all fit and capable of doing it, come on, let's do it. Because we don't, yeah, we don't realize that on a day-to-day basis, life just kind of happens. And when you lose somebody close to you, then you, you're you like, oh, wow, that's right. This isn't going to last yeah. forever. And you got to... You're absolutely right. And I've lost, you know, so many friends in the last six months. It's just been incredible, and it brings it home to you. So we went, right, okay, that's it. So, uh, you know, uh, our manager, Brian Lane, who, uh, in fact, was the original manager of, of Yes, who's put it all together uh, with Larry Maggot, said, yeah, come on, guys, you, we can do this. So we've been, uh, we decided to put together an evening of Yes music, which is, it's, there'll be a few other surprises and things thrown in as well, uh, but a two-hour show, nice production, um, and, uh, you know, with no disrespect to anybody else, it'll be just be lovely to hear the Yes song sung by John again. Absolutely. And so what is the and more? We, we've been giving away tickets all week, by the way, Anderson, all Raven, right. and Wakeman, an evening of Yes music and more, October 19th at the Wang Theater, and I had a woman call today. Her name is Liz Walker from Waltham. I said, I'm going to be talking to Rick Wakeman today. She was so happy that you guys were coming back and together as this combination. You know, it, it's re- it's really weird. The, the Anne Moore bit, I mean, I can't even, I mean, none of us can really tell you what the, all of the Anne Moore is going to be because that, until we, we've got a long period of rehearsal scheduled. So it's going to be a lot of those when it starts. And I'm, I'm flying over to LA to meet with John and, and Trev uh, where we're going to discuss all the possibilities of what we can do. One of the things that we definitely want to do is to, the Yes music that we're going to do, it won't be done as we've always done it. We are going to try um, and obviously keep it very much yes, but with uh, a yes sound, uh, well, which is how we play anyway, but we want to try and... um, uh, not update, that's the wrong expression, but what we want to try and do is to make it a bit different. So it is. it sounds, it sounds weird, but the same, but uh, with a new lease of life. Will you have more people in your band or just the three of you? No, it's going to be the three of us, and we're adding, a, um, obviously, a bass player, a drummer, and also an, an additional person who can play both guitar and keyboards to play the secondary keyboard parts and the secondary guitar parts. So I tapped into your blog, and, and uh, you're an amazing writer. You've made me laugh so much on so many things, and there's 
<laughs> One thing that I found, I, I found a piece that um, said, are you still the beer-swilling, darts-playing, meat-eating oaf? Is that who would eat curry during a show? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I'll tell you bit by bit. I, I've been, I haven't had a drink since August 1985. So the beer swelling bit, that's, that went in 1985. Um, oh, yeah, probably still am. <laughs> the, as for uh, meat eating, you know, the strange thing is, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not a vegetarian, but probably only eat meat, I don't know, three times a week. You know, it's... Uh, you know, as, I think as you get older, you know, your, your lifestyle changes quite a lot. Oh, yes. Uh, I mean, I, uh, I don't smoke, I don't drink. Um, I'm probably actually thoroughly quite boring, really. <laughs> I'm uh, with you. I'm 60 as well, so I'm there. Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> it's... I mean, I enjoy my life. I enjoy, I enjoy my music. Uh, I've got a, I've got a completely different life in the UK to just the musical one. So it's quite, it's quite interesting. So, are you guys working on new songs for a new album? Is that? Yeah, the plan is. We had a lot of offers. We looked at doing a, a, a shall we do a, a whole album, whatever? And we thought, no, hold on a minute. But it's just really rushing things, and it's wrong. And uh, you know, we, we thought, well, okay, we'll start putting some music together and looking at it, thinking about it, and maybe. Be, you know, premiere one or two bits on the on, on the tour, but then after we've done the tour, and we've really got to know each other again, playing wise, and what we can do. That's the time to really do a, 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 an album, and uh, you know, and take it from there that that way round. Otherwise, it's it's a bit rushed, and it's a bit. Um, you know, I, I think we would all regret it if we if we rushed into something. Because you guys haven't really played together for a lot of years. Yeah. So John and I have done these duo shows over the last few years, so we know each other well. Um, but uh, Trevor and I uh, haven't played together live since the Union Tour, uh, which was way back. I don't think it was the end of the Second World War. Or something. <laughs> it was uh, about, um, late 80s, I think that was, wasn't it? 89 or something like that, 1990, 1991, I think. That, so, it's, so Trevor and I haven't actually played for 26 years live on stage. Uh, we have worked together. I mean, Trev uh, played on an album of mine called Return to the Centre of the Earth, and indeed John sang on that as well, um, but which was... Uh, um, Oh no, John didn't sing on that one, uh, but Trev played on it. Which so, but we've not actually played together since. But that's that's not a problem. I mean, I love Trev's playing. I mean, he's such a u- unique, unique player and uh, and a great writer too. So I mean, there's, 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 there's not going to be any problems with anybody playing together. But you're, it's going to be quite exciting because uh, uh, the three of us haven't played together since the Union tour. Yeah, it's been a while. You said something once about yes fans. You said our fans were more likely to throw synthesizer. Man- Manuals on stage of the knickers. <laughs> yeah, those were the days. <laughs> so, um, uh, now it's <laughs> yeah. I think we're getting close to the stage where our merchandise forget selling programs and T-shirts. It'll be sort of uh, Zimmer frames, I think. Um, but uh, actually, the audience is amazing. It's such a wide spectrum of, of young and old, and a lot of a lot of families and that come now, which is which is lovely. I think the thing that's really weird is that you know we're we're on stage. I mean, and just the three of us. You know, our ages, uh, you know, a total like 200 years. Do you think this is ridiculous, the three of us adding up to 200 years in total? You know, but I, I said to her, funny enough, I spoke to our manager this morning and I said, I'm not sure whether we need road crew. We probably probably need carers. That's funny. Um, you're kind of an antiques buff. Did I see you doing an antiques road show? Oh, yeah, I do. I, my, my life in England is a lot different from... Uh, how it's perceived in America. I do a lot of television. I do a lot of television. I've had my own shows and uh, appear on lots of different shows and things. So I'm I'm as much known over here for television as I am for music, believe it or not, and also for comedy. I mean, I do. I've done stand-up tours. I'm not surprised because your writing is hilarious. I, yeah, I do. I do quite a lot of those, and it's probably. It's probably in the UK, 75, 80% of what I do, um, you know, with, uh, with major TV and radio stuff. It's, it's mainly TV I do a lot of, and the, the stand-up comedy stuff, I do an awful lot of that. So it's, it's, it's an interesting, interesting life. As I say, it's, it's completely different to uh, 
how I'm perceived and how um, and what I do in other countries around the world, except for places like Australia, because they show a lot of the English comedy shows that I do. I did do a tour of Australia where I said, uh, is that with the band or or is it a solo show with piano? And they said, no, we just want the stand-up. Oh, my God. So I went over there and did a complete stand-up show. It was great fun. It was good fun. So you're a, a well-rounded artist, basically. I just love the industry in, in total. I love music. I love the TV. I love radio. I love uh, acting. I've done a few plays. I've done a few films. It's just I like the whole business. And so, to if you get a chance to to do something that's not your main your main thing, it's great because it just you learn all the time. And I love to learn. So, to, you know, to go off and do do a play or go off and do uh, 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 another TV show or whatever or host a show or do something. It's really, really good because it, it's, it teaches you. You always learn from all of these. So uh, I, I, I'm, you know, that's what I love doing, really. And how do you stay fit? for? Uh, this is one of my pet peeves because I'm older. I wish the shows were in the afternoons so that I could be home early to get to bed early. I don't know how you guys, you mus- musicians, get up on stage and play until 10, 11 o'clock at night. I'm exhausted. <laughs> you know, I'm a really early riser. I get up at half past five every morning. Yeah, me too. I'm a very early riser. And... Uh, and quite happily, when I'm at home, I can go to bed at 10 o'clock with no problem at all. But the funny thing is, when you're actually doing a, you know, concerts, somehow your, your brain goes to your, to your body, hey, listen, things are a bit different for a few weeks. You know, you're going to be going to bed late, and you go, okay. You know, I sort of I, I can adapt really quite well. But I'm I'm more of an early morning person than a, than a late night person. Yeah, I am as well. And uh, before I let you go, because I know you're pressed for time, um, That's right. you have a son, Adam, yeah. who is touring with Black Sabbath. He's doing keyboards and rhythm. How did that happen? Um, well, I've got six kids. Oh my and God! Play. Uh, my son Oliver played with Yes for a couple of years. Uh, he's Adam's older brother. Adam's been with Ozzy and Sabbath for about 15 years now, I think, something like that. He's a great player. He is a great player, Ad, and, uh, and heavily in demand. And uh, he loves working with Ozzy and Sabbath, and we've done some stuff together as, as well. And uh, it's, it's really nice. Although Adam does say, because Ozzy and I have obviously known each other since the, since the late 60s, early 70s. Yeah, because you worked on Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. I saw your name yeah, on the album. Well, that's right. Well, I, play, I, I, did, I did Ozzy's Osmosis album as well. And uh, Adam said to me, so he, said, I, he said, I love working with Ozzy, he said, and with, with Sabbath. He said, the only thing he said, sometimes, Dad, they told me stories about you <laughs> when you knew them back in the seven, early 70s. He said... And perhaps, he said, some of them are stories that perhaps they shouldn't tell me. Right. <laughs> and I go, ah. He <laughs> said, that's all right, Dad. I'll remind you about your will later. Yeah, yeah. Well, Rick Wakeman, it has been just a pleasure and an honor to speak with you. I, um, Your song, Summertime, your version of Summertime, just makes me melt. Oh, you're so, very kind. Yeah, I have that album, and I've been a fan of Yes for many years. As I said, I'm older. So oh, I've been... you're a baby. <laughs> right. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> So thank you again, and we'll look forward to seeing you guys in Boston, Anderson, Rabin, and Wakeman, an evening of Yes Music and more, October 19th at the Wang Theater. Thank you so very, very much, and um, continued success. Yeah, listen, you're most welcome. Thank you very much indeed.